Hi there, I'm Tracy Carruthers, your executive coach to a leadership state of mind. Here's the clue you can use to access clear, effective thinking. I often use the phrase, it's a matter of principle. For example, recently I was waiting in my doctor's reception area for a one o'clock appointment. At 1.30, I was shown into the examination room, or as I like to call it, the waiting room. Around 2, the nurse came in to take my vitals, and around 2.30, the doctor finally showed up with his obligatory, and how are you today, Miss Carruthers? Now, I know that doctors and hairdressers and even airlines often overbook clients for economic reasons. But waiting hours for your scheduled appointment or being bumped to a later flight because the airlines didn't get the numbers right, well, that's just wrong on so many levels, but most of all, it's a matter of principle. Operating a business from a foundation of principle is not only good for business, it establishes a common code a common understanding that serves as a litmus test for every decision at every level. Leadership at every level is also based on principles. In this case, the principle of the human experience. Standards that we employ to become even more effective in communicating and achieving our goals, both personal and professional. The first principle of the human experience, in our case, a principle of leadership, is purpose and meaning. It stems from a basic understanding that we are all governed by a higher power, known to some as the intelligence of all things. It doesn't matter what you call it. It doesn't even matter if you don't believe in it. The fact is, we are here, and the question is, what are we here to do? And what meaning does that have in our life? My purpose is what drives me toward setting and achieving my goals. It is my passion, what I enjoy the most. It gives me joy and a feeling of fulfillment contentment, and peace. It gives persistent meaning to every effort, every conversation, and every thought. It engages my senses, my very being. It is my litmus test for making all decisions. It's what I am about to do aligned with my purpose. As a leadership coach, my purpose has even more intention and meaning. What I do has exponential impact. I am entrusted with influencing the growth and development of others. It is what I am called to do in this lifetime, and I can't wait to wake up every morning and continue this work. Those are the ingredients and implications of my purpose. This month, your assignment is to begin to develop an understanding of the ingredients that frame your purpose. What are you here to do? And what meaning does that have in your life? Yes. Those are big, deep questions. Leading with purpose and meaning requires deep thought and introspection. After all, it's a matter of principle. Thanks for listening. Until next month, take some time to ask yourself, what is the passion that drives me? What brings me the most joy and contentment and a sense of fulfillment? What are the ingredients and implications of my purpose? Remember to take the time and write down your discoveries in your journal. 
more clues are waiting for you exclusively. Take care.